Welcome back to Ark's Fatalis. Let's continue our rampaging destruction against the Sisters of Adernium. Hey, I'm still claiming that this is self-defense. I never wanted to kill them. I never tried to attack them before they attacked me. They tried to shoot magic beams at me. And I just defended myself. I, I defended myself against all dozen of these scorched bodies laying on the ground. Okay, where have, I, where have I been? Where have I not been? But in there, looted all of that, I think. Just went in here, looted all of that. Those are the floating beds. Ooh, looks like a library. Librarian. Anybody home? Nope. Cooking for goblins. I already have that. <laughs> Rules of the Noden, already got that. War of the Magi. I don't know if I have that. I'll take anything that I'm not sure of. <laughs> Thought you could hide from me, huh? Come here. I wonder if there's a book that I can pull out to open a secret door. Doesn't seem like it. Also, those crystals hanging from the ceiling look very similar to this. This shiny orb, which I've just suddenly realized doesn't look anything like an orb. What the hell? An orb is not shaped like a tooth or a spike. Yeah, what the hell are they smoking? That is not an orb. That is not, and has never been, the shape of an orb. Weirdos. What the hell is this? Looks like it... Uh, they're supposed to be something here. Perhaps this? No. That makes no sense. And consequently, did not work. Okay, where now? Uh, this way. Wait, it, no, I was just there. Oh, I need to go this way, don't I? Oh, so the only way to actually access here is just to go all the way back? That's weird. Because I don't think this connects with it, does it? <clears throat> I'm just kind of revealing the minimap at the moment. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it connects. Weird though, like it seems very inconvenient, structurally speaking. If you want to get all the way there, you have to go all the way around. Weird. Speed this up. Oh yeah, this went down. Did I ever see where this actually went down to? Whoa. What the hell is this place? It's level 8. I have been on level 8, apparently. Or, oh no, sorry, level 7. Whoops. I think that's the maze. Yeah, that's the maze from the crypt. That part down there. 
I'm seeing some really nasty things down here. Those look like bodies and, like, eggs. I'm going back up. Why would they have an entrance to there in their place? Why would they want to go there? Okay, maybe this is my key. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so these are statues? Yes. What the hell are those noises? Are they giving birth or something? Those are fucking creepy noises. And why would you put curtains up when they're not actually covering anything? Hall of the Valiants. There's gotta be something behind one of these. Elsewise, what be their purpose? I saw something behind there. I'm assuming they won't see me or open the doors on their own. Hello. Ah. So, wait a minute, why would I go there when I could just go here? This doesn't actually get you in there. What the hell is that? Is that what I think it is? Wow, they really had to save on some polygons, didn't they? I, I guess it's supposed to be a pile of treasure, but in reality it's just a... 2D image. Kinda. It seems vaguely 3D, actually. Yeah, it's not just a 2D image, actually. It's just a texture on a model that is mostly flat. It looks like they've articulated the treasure chest a little bit, I think. That is really weird. It is not at all convincing, I must say. That's obviously a secret door. Holy crap. Not gonna guess that one by brute force. Sometimes what you see isn't real. Ah. Huh. Reveal, perhaps? Or maybe it just means this. Because, I mean, the secret entrance goes behind that, right? So there is actually a place in there. Hmm. I guess we're about to find out. Perhaps it's not actually talking about this doorway. <gasps> Alright, so if it's not real, I would think I could just walk through it, but I can't. Reveal did not work. I don't know why I'm trying it again, but... Nope. Let's try it here. Stab it. What if I blow it up? Oh, crap. Oh, no! I didn't hold down the key to actually save it. I just casted it. Let me flip these things. Uh, 
They don't seem to have any particular effect unless you get the whole sequence correct. Yeah, so it is just an image. It's not even close to convincing. Not even close. I guess that was supposed to be a grand illusion, but no. The weakness of the wealthy of the wealthy snake lies where its sword crosses its scepter. Wealthy snake. Sword crosses its scepter. Locked. Let's make sure I don't already have the key to it. I have, I have so many damn keys at this point. Man, I bet my key ring weighs like 10 pounds. Thing's got a jingle jingle like a mofo. Let's bless myself and pick this. That's not possible. Oh, not possible. It's not gonna work at all, is it? I can't do that. Nope. Locked. It's unpick lockable. Unlock unlock pickable? Nah, I like unpick lockable. It's better. I'm not sure what the wealthy snake is. Sword crosses its scepter. Actually, isn't there... It's probably talking about this, isn't it? The image. Isn't there a snake? And isn't there a sword? Yeah, there's a snake. Oh, that's it. The, oh, I thought that was just a visual glitch. That's actually a button. Yeah. How are you supposed to activate it? Yeah. <laughs> That's not even close to working. Might need telekinesis. Uh, I can't remember if I have a spell for that, do I? Please tell me I have it in paper form. Oops. Ooh, I've got one. Okay. Let me save it first, because if this doesn't work, I definitely want to keep it. Locked. I was looking at the chest behind it. No, so... It's a weakness, but... I can't... Click it. The sword didn't seem to work, but I'm not sure it was actually hitting it. Do I just blow it up? Okay. Uh. Success! Oh shit, what a. Is that magic missile? I think I have magic missile queued up. That's fine. It's not very good, but I haven't used it in a while. There we go. A golden snake? Ooh. Hmm. Would the troll be interested in that as a present? No, he wants something from the outside world. That wouldn't make any sense. I was just thinking because he loves art. He's got all those pieces of troll art around there. I thinking maybe you would like this. Well, I have so much money that I really don't want to sell it. So assuming it has no practical use, I suppose I can just furnish my room with it. I'll put it right next to the headless chicken. Well, there's that, but that's not everything in this room. There's still this secret door, and there's this, which is obviously something. Although, looking at the minimap, it doesn't actually show anything behind here. Whereas it does show something behind here. So I wonder which one this opens. 
This, assuming it is something that can be opened, or this. Probably this. Well, see if we'll come across more clues about this later. For now, I have no idea. Uh, so it looks like the only way left is here. This isn't the way that goes down, is it? No. Wait, I can't actually get in here, can I? No. Shit. Hold on, I want to try something. Let's try flying eye. Let's see if we can fly through this. Can I fly? No? I, whoa! What the? Okay, interesting. Let's try that again. See if I can actually move. Um, what? Alright, it seems right clicking just undoes everything? How do I move? I, I tried WASD, it didn't seem to work. Let's try somewhere else. It's a very cool animation. Alright, oh, now it works. It Oh, it's very glitchy. Alright, yeah, it looks like you can go, can't go through that. I just get stuck on everything. Hello? Hmm. Well, given that there's an entrance to level 7 from level 6, here, I can go down. Perhaps if I go down there, I can find a way up to here. Hard to see inside. I don't see any entrance immediately visible, but it could easily be back there. I mean, if that's not it, then I have no idea, because there seems to be nowhere else to go. I mean, this way goes back to level 4, I think. Yeah, that's the secret entrance. I think it comes out about there. There's this way, which goes down, and then there's this way. Other than that, there's the secrets over here, but I don't seem to have the information actually to go into any of those secret rooms. I've certainly received no passcode of any sort. If only I could have talked to the sisters. Wouldn't it be funny if I totally broke the game? That would be hilarious. It's uncompletable. Incompletable. That would be a right laugh. Alright, well, see if I can find an entrance back up from down here. I really don't fucking like this place. Oh my god. What even is that? Is that a plant or a... Some other creature? Does it hurt me? No. Eh. Eh. When you click on them, you push them. Like, I don't think their feet could fit there. Like, the the end point of this seems too small for their feet to actually be there. Almost as if their feet aren't even there, like they've been cut off. Or eaten. Oh yeah, I also need to be on the lookout down here since this is unexplored territory, for the next clue. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this one. For the next clue, find the Lava Island and take a close look at it. So, looking for lava. Ratman. Hello. Come hither. You know, I'm, I'm not going to assume that they're dangerous. Okay, they're dangerous. Okay. 
can't cast this spell on your ship. Take that. Wow, you're really bad. You're really, really bad. I love the character models for the Ratman. Looks very cool. Whoa, did I just pick up money? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, did... Oh, don't even need to do that. Never mind. Goodbye. Yeah, if you cast Reveal, I believe it uh, allows you to see through their invisibility. I did hear a money sound. Perhaps they were actually stealing my money, since they are kind of thief like characters. Hold on, let me check my money. Eh, I've got 17,000. It seems alright. See if this is a magic missile. Jesus! I can tell by my bleeding, my bleeding eardrums that that was indeed magic missile. Honestly, magic missile seems more like a flashbang type thing. Stun your opponents with noise. Except you also stun yourself. They need to redesign it. Really need some torches. Either they're just casually invisible, or you can really hear them, like, halfway across the map, because I don't see them. Oh, shit. Did I actually just get up here? Mm, not really. Won't let me jump. Ah! Okay, you can keep stabbing him. Let's try harm. Um, hold on. Yeah, keep keep stabbing me. That's fine. Steal my money. I don't care. Okay, that's heal. It's the opposite of that. Yeah, get close to me. Oh wow. Either that did a lot of damage, or he was just almost dead. Five gold coins. Yeah, it might be that the money you find on them is the money they stole from you. Yeah, and if you've noticed, sometimes sounds are extremely loud. And I don't mean ones that are consistently loud, like Magic Missile, which is always loud, but certain things, like when I took that money, it was really, really loud, when normally it's not. Same with, like, entering this menu, for example, the main menu. Like right there, that was super loud. But other times, see, normal. So some sounds are randomly extremely loud. Sorry about that. If anyone, you know, knows a fix for that, feel free to tell me. This game just seems to have some weird audio issues. I was gonna do something. What was I gonna do? Oh, yeah. Harm. I need to actually write that down, because I keep forgetting it. So that's... heal. Ooh, I didn't write that very well. Shit. Eh, whatever, close enough. So this is heal. That's harm. Eluded that, right? Yeah. I think I actually can get up here. It's not letting me jump, though. 
whatever, I'm sure there's a better way up there. Mmm, pile of skulls, which are apparently very squishy. Judging by the wet footstep sounds. I wonder if there's a better way up there. Actually, now that I look at it, nothing really seems to go around there, unless there's something that goes like all the way around. Now I'm curious. My sense of adventure is emboldened. The trick is just making the game actually allow you to jump. So this is a good point. Getting here, it's good. But then it won't let me jump, because it doesn't just let you jump straight up, it can only let you jump forwards. It's the strange part. I could try levitation. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's levitate. I think I can make it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. There we go. Beautiful. More Ratman. Damn, this is large. Some very large caverns. Level up! Make a perma save before I actually distribute my skill points, just in case I change my mind. Okay, of course, going with mental. Because I am mental. And this time I'm actually going to look at my mana points. So let's see, it's at 112. Ooh, up to 120. That's actually a very, very large upgrade. Okay, I'm definitely having trouble lockpicking stuff, so let's get this up to 70, definitely. Casting. I do have to keep in mind that this is actually being buffed by my rings. So it's not actually my base skill. My stealth is so bad, 17. It's like my idea of stealth is walking into a room, or no, running into a room with a bunch of empty cans, like, attached to my legs with a chain. Ten points, where do I go? Now, casting doesn't actually increase my mana, right? I don't believe it does. I think Ethereal Link is the only skill that increases my mana. Other than that, I think it's just mental that increases it. You know, hold on. Hold on, I just made a save. Uh, let's just make another one. So let's just see how much mana points putting all of this into Ethereal Link will give me. So I have 120. Uh. Oh no, right, that increases regen rate, not your actual mana points. Never mind. Um, let's see if I can actually notice a difference in the regen. Thirty-six... Thirty-seven... Ooh, somebody heard that. Yeah, my regen rate is still very, very slow. That is definitely not worth it. So, technical skill or casting? Uh, let's split the- let's just split the difference. So this is actually increasing more than I increased it because it's being buffed by the rings which increase my casting by plus 10%. So, actually buffed it up a bit more. Yeah, there we go. Seems fine. I kind of wish I didn't put any points into Constitution and put that all into Mental instead. Since my armor is proving pretty much irrelevant. Ooh, 
rope. You know, it's weird. Rope is actually used in the very beginning of the game for one of the puzzles, but it's never, ever been used since. It's like they forgot about it. Poor Ropey. Mmm. Mushroom amongst a sea of corpses and bloody bodies hanging from the wall. Mmm. I hope they've absorbed the blood. I am so OP. She's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh, there's a ratman. Hi. Fine, you're dead now. Chicken drumsticks. Are they cooked? This is raw. These things seemed like raw stuff. I wonder if they would eat the food. I don't think these things actually do anything. I think they're just set dressing, essentially. Nah. Ooh, wonderful squishy noises. I think it's the same sounds that the, uh, a severed head that I found once had. It was in the, at the very beginning of the game with the, uh, torture dungeon in the goblins place. Hmm. Let's actually go down to the next floor, level 8. So, yeah, this level is huge. So why is oh the description was uh, stuck at the stop the top of the screen and disappeared thankfully oh it just loops around this place is very loopy right in there. And apparently it's no problem. Oh, whoa. What's happening? What's happening? What? Huh? Did I just travel through that? I just found a secret, didn't I? Holy shit, that's awesome! It was a very awkwardly discovered secret. I just kind of floundered about atop the thing for a couple seconds before anything happened. But, uh, holy shit! You know, I'm not a bow person. 
but I would like to actually try them, and I actually can, because my projectile skill is actually 30, which is exactly the minimum requirement. Whew. That is so cool. I love it when exploration is rewarded. That's probably my favorite thing about this game, is just how much... how much reward there is, and how much interesting stuff there is to find by exploring. It's wonderful. Uh, so can I actually go back into it, or...? Yeah, it's weird. It seems like you just kind of walk towards it or something. It's very iffy. Then you just spawn in midair and fall down. Ooh, wow. More arrows. Is that what I think it is? Fuck you. Fuck you. No. No. I want none of your shit. Go away. more than one arrow to kill a rat. <laughs> oh man, I guess that... I guess that's, uh... What's the right word? I guess I can blame that on the fact that I have almost no projectile skill. Those iron sights, which, which are actually not iron at all, but man, that is wonky! Like, if I shoot my arrow where it's pointing right now, it's gonna shoot up into the ceiling. But it actually goes in front of me. That is really weird. Thief, this is not. Yeah, that, that's wonky. <laughs> but neat, but wonky. about the ammo. Oh, I see. It's funny how they've reused the durability system in so many different ways. It's actually very awkward, but kind of clever in its efficiency. So they're actually using the durability of the, the arrows, the collection of arrows, as the ammo. Yeah, so it's got 100 shots, but it's full. Does that mean I can repair it, which is actually in reality refilling it? I don't know, that's weird. Interesting, though. Kind of funny. Alright, well, I am going to continue exploring these rather large caverns and see if I can find any more places to uh, travel through. I can't imagine traveling inside of these things is very comfortable. Wouldn't it be like crawling your way through a... like intestinal lining or something. That seems nasty. Ugh. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.